Welcome to the Bee Bomb Studio. You guys have been asking us to do a studio tour since a long, long time now, and well, this is it. This is Bee Bomb Studio tour powered by Adobe, which makes some great photo and video editing software that we personally use. I'll talk more about Adobe software at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. Now let's check out the Bee Bomb Studio. So this is where we shoot all our current videos. But in the past, we used to shoot our videos at our office, which was okay, but we wanted to step things even further and make the quality even better. So this is why we rented this space in October last year, and this is what it has become now. Now I remember when we first rented this space. It was just 1500 square feet of brick and mortar. So we got furniture, we painted the walls, we got everything done. And now, well, it's still 1500 square feet, but it looks amazing. Let's take a look. So let's take it step by step. So this is kind of the living area here where we have the couch, the TV, there's the gaming console so we can, you know, just sit back, relax and, you know, game a little. These couches also make up for some great shots. So there's that. There's also the TV here with the Xbox One and PS4, some gaming laptops, etc. For gaming videos and for our usual breaks when I feel like kicking everyone's ass at FIFA. As you can see, we have differently colored walls here. And these are not just random colors. We have put in a lot of thought behind every color. Let me explain. Say we want to shoot a fun casual video. We go with the yellow or the blue background. Say we want to do an unboxing. We go with the gray background, which is one of the 50 shades of gray we chose to go with. Lastly, you must have seen a pitch black shot in some of our recent videos. So this is how we do it. These colors add a lot to the mood of the video. And it's the little things like these that makes us, well, us. Now it's not just these backgrounds that make a great shot. You need great lighting too. Well, the one thing that we really love about our studio is, as you can see, it gets a lot of natural sunlight, which is just the ideal shooting scenario. But if you're shooting early in the morning or late at night, you need great lighting. Well, the biggest, baddest light that we have is this one. Check it out. This is the Godox SL150 with a light dome and we love this light here. Yes, we haven't ever managed to set up its dome perfectly and yes, it's not the easiest to move but hey, it works, so we love it. It creates a very soft light that looks really, really good on the face. Along with this badass light, we also use these lights, this ring light and these RGB lights to add depth, colors and just enhance the overall shot. Anyway, let me show you some more around here. So, let's move on to this section. So. Here's our camera, the Lumix GH5. And this has been our camera of choice for the past two years now, and it's pretty great. Then there are different camera accessories. There's the tripod, there's uh, the slider, the different uh, gimbals, then there's jib. Yeah, there's a lot more, and it's pretty amazing. And for those of you who are wondering, uh, we're shooting with the Fujifilm X-T3 right now on a gimbal, and yeah, that's great too. So yeah, it's pretty good. Also, when it comes to the mic, we use these Sennheiser's EW100 G3 Lavalier mics, and these work really, really well. So we have used this mic outdoors in India where it's super noisy and we have used this mic at MWC where it's also pretty noisy. So yeah, this mic does a great job of cutting down noise and yeah, we really like it. Anyway, so let's move on to this one. This right here is the glossy white table. It's one of our favorite tables to shoot unboxings that you guys love. Apart from that, we have some other furnitures that we want to show you. This is the coffee table that makes for some great featured images. And these right here are the different, different backgrounds that you see in our camera comparisons. Apart from that, these are the sofa that sit alone for some reason. This is the mirror that we use to get ready before the shots. We use them, but Akshay rarely does. This is Rupesh, he's not a furniture, but he sits there, stands there actually. And apart from that, you see a lot of different lamps that actually makes a really good shot. And that's pretty much it that we wanted to show you. This is the couch we spend most of our time on for playing video games, taking shots and whatnot. So that's pretty much it about the furniture. We keep on changing the furniture on a regular basis so that the shots are always fresh to the eyes. And that's it. And I know Devinder already showed you these, but these are some amazing backgrounds and they deserve some attention. So we use these backgrounds for all of our montage shots and also to show you some camera samples in all our amazing YouTube videos. In the past, we used to have animated backgrounds with photos on them, but now we use these backgrounds with the phone placed to show the camera samples in a nice, colorful way. 
Well, we have some wooden backgrounds, some solid color backgrounds, and setting them is not easy. They're very heavy, but it's worth the effort. So along with this cool axe, we have a number of toys that really add to our shots. Let me show you. So here are the Avengers. Yes, we have the whole team here. Yes, there's Deadpool, but he'll soon be part of the team, hopefully. So yeah, there's the Avengers team. Let's move on to the next ones. So there's uh, Heath, Ledger, Heath Ledger's Jokers here, and they look really cool uh, in different Dark Knight scenarios. They are really, really cool. Next up, we have the YouTube play buttons. Uh, there's the gold button, there's the silver button, and there's this PUBG Free Green that I really like. It's really, really cool. I love it. And there's Pikachu as well, so great. Let's move on to the next ones. Okay, so again, some nice, really nice toys. So yeah, there's Batman in his usual grumpy self. There's the Iron Throne, and this light is super cool. There's the YouTube bag, it's amazing. And we have a nice collection of cars here, if you can just zoom in a little. Yeah, these cars look super awesome, right? Lovely. And there's the Pokeball, the Pikachu right there. So yeah, these are awesome. There's one more thing I want to show you, and I love that. So these are actually adamantium claws. Oh, yeah. Well, this is our studio and we love it. But if you're wondering where we do all of our editing, after all, there are no editing rigs here. Well, all of our post-production and our editing happens back at the BMOM office. Let me show you. So a lot of you guys ask us about the editing software that we use. Well, we use different software for different videos. So starting with YouTube videos, we use Final Cut Pro to edit these videos. But all the amazing animations, transitions, all the razzmatazz that you see in these videos is created with Adobe After Effects. We use After Effects to show you the specs via motion tracking. We use it to create the different charts and tables that you see in our videos. The bell icon transition. In fact, the amazing intro that you see on our YouTube channel has been created in Adobe After Effects. And it's not just YouTube videos. We use Adobe After Effects to create the awesome videos for our app including the Sunday edition episodes and their super cool intros. Anyway, After Effects is not just the only Adobe software that we use. We also use Photoshop extensively. So the awesome thumbnails that you see on our YouTube videos, the amazing posts that you see on our Instagram and Facebook page, all of them created via Photoshop. So yeah, Adobe After Effects and Adobe Photoshop are two software that we cannot imagine our lives without. Our team uses these tools to take videos to the next level. So if you're a budding YouTuber, make sure to check out Adobe After Effects and Adobe Photoshop from the link in the description below. On that note, let's meet our team. So first up, this is Karan. You cannot count on him to come on time, but you can count on him to create some amazing transitions and animations. He's the one behind the awesome B-bomb intro, so hit him up if you want to know the intro music. Next up is Sharun. He has opinions on every single thing on this planet. But his opinions on shooting, editing videos, and every Snapdragon chipset ever are where it actually matters. Apart from that, he's a go-to guy to get things done. Moving on to Manmeet, his love for Dal Makhni is as pure as his love for cameras and shooting. Apart from shooting and editing our YouTube videos, he creates some amazing posts with George for Instagram. Also, he thinks smartphone cameras are sh**. Then there's Nawaz. He's still waiting for the iPhone SE 2 to arrive, but if it does not, he plans to create a 3D model of it and getting it built from China with Sharun, of course. He's the one that designed the first ever B phone render, and well, it turned out pretty good, didn't it? Well, that's pretty much it. This was the P Bomb Studio Tools, and I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, it's a work in progress. There are curtains to add, there are YouTube play buttons to hang, and it's going to be super awesome. Anyway, how did you like our studio? If you have any suggestions about our studio, let us know in the comments below. Also, give this studio video a like if you enjoyed it. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.